Having a lovely time at South End. Wish you were here. How do you get there? Easy. Straight on. You mustn't miss it. Here they come in slick, sliding trains. South End on Sea. Change here for the best holiday of your lives. And it is a change here. The air's so different. And there it is. An elegant, slender iron finger warning the sea to behave. Come on, let's go out over the sea. Shall we gay dog and step it out with the girls? Or take it easy in the gentle, trundling train? We'll go by train. After all, it is a mile and a third to the end. At South End, you can do just what you like. Here's the gentle, warm sea. Miles and miles of it, inviting you, calling you. Seven miles of seafront. Seven miles of promenade. Seven miles of gentle, shelving seashore. Half the fun of lounging on the beach, enjoying yourself, is watching other people enjoying themselves. And what are you doing down there? Oh, I see. But wherever you point your camera, there are pictures, pictures everywhere. Natural, happy pictures. Natural, lovely pictures. Southend on Sea will always be my home. No matter where I am or where I end up, it's home. It's a town like many others in the UK at the moment, like many other places around the world. We're struggling to cope with death, fear and restrictions. Living for a time that is unprecedented by anyone currently alive. A time of loneliness and depression. A winter of financial crisis, uncertainty and inevitably loss. And although I'm certain that we will come out the other side with a new appreciation of life, I also know that this moment will go down in history. And that's essentially what this project is about. You know, I've heard and read things in the past that if you want to create photos that actually mean something, then you should photograph what you know. For me, my favorite types of photography are documentary photography, uh, landscapes and portraiture. So I wanted to kind of see if I could try and combine those three types of photography into one and to see if they would mesh well together and if I could create, you know, like a narrative through those three different types of photography. I knew I wanted to shoot the project on film because, you know, I've got much more into film over the past few years and I really enjoy the whole process of shooting and developing and the whole, just the way that it makes you slow down and really kind of contemplate every shot before you take it because it costs you money. It's not like digital where you can click, click, click and hope that one of them's good. Like you really have to think about your compositions and your settings and what you're trying to tell with an image before you actually click that shutter. So um, initially I thought to myself, right, I want to document this throughout the entire year and I might shoot half of it on black and white and half of it in color to give me that sort of contrast. It then evolved and I thought, you know what, I want these images to really kind of be conflicting and contrasting. So what I'll actually do is I'll just shoot the winter months and the summer months. 
So I'm gonna shoot the winter on black and white. Um, I've already started, so basically January, February and March, I'm just gonna shoot black and white for the entire three months and just kind of document my hometown. And then I'm gonna take a break from it and revisit it in the summer months, maybe July, August and September, and stick to like just one color film. So I thought I wanted to see how well that would work together. And then with everything that's been going on at the moment to do with coronavirus and lockdowns and restrictions and stuff like that, it's been ramped up tenfold, like how bad it is around this seaside town in the winter months. Everything is shut down, everything is quiet, you know, there's nothing going on whatsoever and it's really bad, like businesses are struggling, people are struggling financially and mentally. And I think that's kind of ramped up the whole, you know, depressing winter vibe um, that I wanted to achieve in the book or in the project anyway. So yeah, basically all I did was just get out and start shooting. So I knew I'm sticking to black and white. I've got a 35 millimeter camera I'm shooting with, just a, a Canon EOS 50E. And I've recently picked up uh, a Mamiya RB67, which I'm shooting black and white on that as well. And I've just been going out pretty much every day or every other day and just shooting as much as I can. So I've set myself a goal to kind of just have like between five to 10 decent images every month that I'm happy with. Because if I can get, say, 10 images every month that I'm super happy with, and that would mean by the time I finish the project, I've got 60 images. And if I've got 60 decent images that I'm happy with, for me, that's enough to then piece together a bodywork and release a book or a zine or something like that. Yeah, I've been going out over the past few weeks uh, and I've just been shooting as much. And I've started noticing like a, a subconscious pattern emerging so I guess to do with the feeling of like loneliness and stuff that we're all feeling at the moment like subconsciously I've been taking these sort of like street scenes and beach scenes where there's been an element in there and just like one figure one person you can't make out the person's face really they're just kind of there as like an added element to the image and it just kind of for me it's been representing that feeling of loneliness and stuff like that that we're all going through at the moment and actually from creating this project and kind of shooting it my creativity and stuff has been spiraling. You know, I've been writing songs, uh, I've been writing poetry and stuff like that, all to do with like the project. I actually wrote a poem that I'm thinking I might, you know, if the body of work goes well, I might put that like on the first page in the book as well like that. I'll tell you what, I'll read that to you now. For seasons to come, lest we forget the winter we walked alone. To protect front line and save our souls, it was best to stay at home. No festive cheer nor family near one hug could cost a life. We wish away that awful year where death and fear was rife. So wake me up when summer's here and the fear has melted away, when life can once again be lived and the skies are no longer grey. No longer shall we hesitate, procrastinate or moan, for seasons to come lest we forget the winter we felt alone. But yeah, so obviously I've been out so far, I've taken a few photos just kind of walking about, I've taken some uh, some landscape shots, some, you know, documentary street stuff, uh, but I've yet to tackle portraiture. I am going to now go out and try and attempt to approach strangers um, that are potentially by themselves because I want to kind of keep that lonely vibe. For me, going out on the street and just approaching random strangers is terrifying if I'm honest with you like I'm proper nervous about it but I've been inspired you know more recently by um, for example watching that workshop on Alex Soff and he talks about the fear that he felt like approaching strangers for portraits and stuff that he was like literally shaking um, there's other youtubers and stuff that I watch out there that have inspired me recently and people that I've met like um, there's a youtuber called Brian Burks if you don't know him he's definitely he's got a great uh, film photography channel he shoots a lot of large format and medium format film he's working on a project at the moment where he's uh, taking pictures of uh, people with their cars and there was a video he done recently where he literally went out and knocked on someone's house. He saw their car, knocked on their door and said, can I take a picture of your, your car? And ended up taking a picture of them. Like to have the balls to be able to knock on someone's house and ask them for a portrait, I think is just insane. And uh, it really inspires me to stop being a baby and get out. So yeah, definitely I need to stop being such a wimp and just kind of get out there and see if I can start getting some portraits of people and seeing if portraiture does mesh with what I've got already. <coughs> I've got a GoPro with this little clip. Uh, so basically we're clipped onto your backpack and I can wear it like that as I walk about. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go out this week, maybe one or two days. Uh, obviously it's winter and the weather's crap, so I've just gotta wait for it to not be raining. 
and I'm just going to go out and see if I can get any photos at all. I'm going to show you the footage regardless of whether I manage it or not. Um, so hopefully that might push me to be a bit braver because I don't want to be showing you footage of me being a wimp. Um, and yeah, that's it. We're going to go out this week, see what we can get. Fingers crossed I can get some nice portraits of some people. And um, yeah, if it works and it meshes well, then I've got another two months to carry on doing what I'm doing. And by the end of that, I can pick, you know, the best shots. And hopefully I've got a decent, at least 30 images to put in the book. So the sun's come out today. I thought it'd be a good, good opportunity to get out and maybe take some portraits of some strangers. So I'm gonna load some FP4 plus. I've never actually shot FP4 before. Hopefully it comes out well. Do you know one thing I like about the RB actually is that you can literally just open that up and take the back off. You don't have to take the whole back off to uh, change the film like you do with the RZ, which is pretty handy. So I'm actually going to go out for a walk with the wife and kids at the same time as doing this in the vain hope what's going on? that I can use them as like a little crutch maybe and uh, people won't think I'm a lunatic because I've got my wife and kids with me. go and I'll take another roll with me just in case. I've just seen this fisherman man. I'm gonna go ask him quickly what he see what he said. Hey mate, you alright? Um I'm a photographer currently doing a, a project about South End. Do you mind if I take your picture while you sit there? Is that right? Can I get one of you just like from that angle? Right, three, two, one. 